Oh hi, you are just in time for my daily 149 slow motion hair flip to Yellow's 1985 hit, Oh Yeah, Pardon Me. literally been so long since I've worn makeup. <laughs> this feels a little weird. Just walk by the mirror and go, <gasps> Hello. I'm back from my little uh, mini break. And yes, I got about one third of the things that I had planned actually done. So went pretty good. <laughs> So to start off this brand spanking new dumpster fire of a year, I decided I wanted to do a whole ass hair routine. And let us note the punctuation here. It is not that kind of video. You guys seem... Try not to use you guys so I can be a little bit more inclusive, but anything else just sounds really weird. Y'all just makes me sound like an imposter. Use guys. Use guys. You all seem to enjoy my hair videos for whatever reason. <laughs> Previously, my dyeing, curling, bangs, etc. have all lived in separate videos and I always feel bad making you guys go on a like scavenger hunt to go find them and piece them together. So I wanted to put them all in one video. And also I've switched up my dyeing routine because I guess it is the curse of a fake ginger to never fully be satisfied in your <laughs> dyeing method, I guess. So my plan for today is step one, hair dye, step two, curling method number one, and step three, curling method number two. Because I also recently started using a different curling method for my hair because it's getting longer, so I felt like this new method was also worth two weeks of not really talking to any human other than my husband shows. I felt like the new method was worth mentioning. Also with a very spicy bang cutting disaster gently sandwiched in there. Let's get to it. Has this ever happened to you? Did you grow up blonde and quickly realize that dumb blonde jokes are just an excuse for boys to degrade you? And now you have deep-seated issues with people talking down to you. So you dyed your hair red after watching an episode of American Horror Story? <laughs> So some people have messaged me asking if I'm still using Arctic Fox because that's kind of how I left things as far as dyeing videos on this channel. No, I am not using them anymore. Nothing against the company, they're lovely, but I was just finding it really tiring to keep having to order new bottles of different colors just to make that one copper color, especially because I would go through the yellow and the orange much faster than the purple, so I always had to keep tabs on what bottle was at what level, and it was just a little too much effort for me. And I also found that the color doesn't quite stay as vibrant as long. So what I'm doing now, I did switch back to what I have been doing for a while, which is a mix of box dye and henna. Box dye for my roots, and this is because henna does not stick to my virgin roots. Even though I hate that term. <laughs> Are all those chemicals uh, good for my hair? Probably not. Should I go visit a salon? Probably yes. Will I do so? Absolutely not. I'll tell you, it's a lot better than the uh, box blonde I used to use. <laughs> Let's bust some myths. I've heard over and over that I shouldn't use henna and box dye. I think this stems from back when henna used to be made with metallic salts. I've been using this combination for years now, and as you can see, I still have all of my hair. It has not fallen out. I have had no problems so far. You get it. Okay, moving on. A couple things that are important to know about henna. I feel like I keep my coffee cup in my hands at all times because I need, I need to do something with them. Number one, it is very permanent. Henna does actually bond with the keratin in your hair. So if you're on the fence or not completely sure that this is a hair color you're gonna want to have for a really long time, uh, maybe don't. <laughs> Number two, it is very messy. Make sure you are ready for your shower to look like Shrek's swamp. Number three, it is quite time consuming. I've heard some other uh, opinions where people don't leave it on as long, but for me, I find the process to take at least four hours. Number four is stank. I feel like henna has a very polarizing smell. I used to be very highly offended by it. thought that it smelled like straight up caterpillar smoothie. If the movie Bugs Life 
had smell a vision Some people like that smell. It's very earthy. I will admit it has gotten a little better and now that I add some yogurt in there and I've also heard that adding essential oils helps as well. I'm using a wooden bowl here uh, because I get yelled at when I use a metal one even though I think this is also a myth but let's say it's just for aesthetic. Next up I use this brand of henna which is made for body art tried to buy directly from Indian sellers, it makes me feel less guilty about using a product that has been used by uh, Indian culture for hundreds if not thousands of years and now I'm just some white girl using it to look like little orphan Annie. <sighs> so I started mixing in yogurt with my henna, uh, it gives it a little bit more of a smoother consistency and makes it feel more like a conditioner. I also use some warm water to dilute it a little bit and give it more of that conditioner texture. Or baby poo, if you like. But very specifically, like newborn baby poo. Okay, I'm done. We'll usually leave this mixture to sit for a couple hours. I ended up doing it overnight, got distracted and wasn't able to dye my hair that night. I don't think it matters either way, so very helpful. 10 out of 10. Now for the messy part. I have a bad track record when it comes to spilling stuff, so I put newspapers on the floor like a potty training golden retriever. And now that the henna is looking like the bog of eternal stench, I can begin. Taking the gloves from the box dye that I just rinsed off, <laughs> I would say it's solely to reuse and reduce, but I'm also very forgetful and never remember to buy rubber gloves even when I'm at the store, probably because for the past five months, if I don't make a shopping list, once I walk in and have to actually American Ninja Warrior past all of the people in there, my mental capacity is shot. Where were we? I usually separate my hair into three different sections and kind of glob it on that way. Once you plaster it on your head, it's very, very hard to start separating sections and getting parts that you missed. So I find it's easiest to start from the bottom to the top. And yeah, you kind of just start slapping it on there like you're a beautiful piece of masonry. <laughs> or you're the plasterers that did my living room ceiling in the 1950s. Wow. Yeesh. Yes, plasterer is an actual word, I looked it up. And now that you look like the fifth member of Flock of Seagulls. If I was an anime character, this is what I would want my hairstyle to look like. And now you can wrap your head with some cling wrap, like you are a bowl of guacamole that you're bringing to a friend's party, knowing damn well it'll be brown by the time you get there. I also covered it with this very attractive shower cap turned hair dye cap, because I cannot be trusted even when my head is covered in plastic wrap. The episode of Arrested Development when Tobias left little blue smudges all over the house, except it would not look quite as whimsical. Also spent some time wiping off the henna that I got literally all over myself. <laughs> Why am I like this? And now you wait. I ended up leaving this on for around seven hours. I was kind of curious to see if the results would be any different from when I just leave it on for four hours. In my experience, no, it's not very different. Four to six hours later. Now it is time to wash it out. And if you thought that I was going to film bathroom scenes without recreating either Ferris Bueller's Day Off or Home Alone, you don't know me at all. Unfortunately, the first step is not quite this graceful and looked a little bit more like this. Because like I said, it is messy and I've used this bit before, but your shower will definitely look like that one scene from Encino Man. This first initial wash, I use a lot of shampoo and a lot of conditioner. Although henna is better for your hair, it does tend to leave it feeling a little bit gritty that first wash. I don't know why that is. Found the more that I rinse it, the smoother it becomes and the less sandpaper-like. 
time to use this expensive hair dryer that I probably would have never bought for myself if it wasn't for sponsorships. Because I was still using my grandma's dryer from the 1970s, which Nick and I confirmed was recalled due to asbestos. Asbestos. First, I gotta check to make sure the portable fireplace isn't on or I'll blow a fuse because this house wiring system is apparently set up like the Winchester house. And now that you've successfully reenacted the popular girl from a 90s rom-com scene, this is the final color, as you can see. Obviously the results aren't quite as dramatic on me because my hair was already kind of the same color, but I just find once a month it's nice to zhuzh it up a little bit. As far as keeping the color up in between washes, I tried Overtones Orange Conditioner, but in my hands, personally, to be a little bit too messy, it was dyeing streaks of orange into my old ass shower, so uh, I kind of stopped. But recently in my P.O. box, I did get these two Overtone Color Conditioners. I'm not sure if someone sent them to me or if Overtone sent them to me. I I don't know, um, thank you either way. These seem to be a little bit different where you just kind of glob it on and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes before you take a shower. And I am definitely gonna try those out. So we'll update in the future. And now it is time for Frodo's hair routine. Okay, curling method number one. This is basically the same curling method I've been using for years now, except my hair is just longer now, so the results are a little bit different. I'm gonna show you this way, and then I'm gonna show you my new way of doing it and do a little pros and cons comparison. Sound good? Great. Cool, 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 cool. For this method of curling, I use ugh, foam rollers. Ew, pretty simple. They have this little foam base here, and then they have a plastic guard that comes and clips in. I got mine online, but I think you can just get them at pharmacies like CVS or something. I also use Motions Foaming Wrap Lotion. I've had some people contact me saying that I couldn't get their curls to stay. Upon further questioning, it's usually that they either didn't use setting lotion and just did damp hair, or they use some kind of mousse. Everyone's hair is different. Everyone's hair reacts differently to curling. My hair would not hold a curl if I didn't use setting lotion. So I always start on completely dry hair. This is very important as well. If there's any bit of moisture in there, ah, forget about it. My hair will not dry. Ever. I've also been using the same setting pattern, the same basic setting pattern for years now. It is not always exactly the same. Starting with the sides, I make sure the selection is not too thick or too wide. That's what she said. Next, you can lather on that lotion. I definitely always make sure that the ends of my hair are covered in lotion, and then I take the roller, wrap the ends around a couple of times, and roll it towards your head, making sure nothing is poking out. Then take the plastic guard and snap. And then you just keep rolling. My set generally looks like this, four on each side, then four to five in the back, so 12 to 15 rollers per set. Now for the bangs. I used to do this with foam rollers as well, but I found that the curl was a little bit too tight and too short. So I started doing it this way because it kind of mimics the curling iron shaft. So I make four sections in my bangs, use lotion, then use my fingers to roll inwards just like a pin curl, but a standing pin curl. Rest it against my head and clip. Now to top it all off, just in case you weren't feeling like a sexy granny yet, a hairnet. This is also my pro tip for sleeping in rollers um, because it can be a little uncomfortable. I found that the foam rollers would come unclipped in the middle of the night and I would just have a loose ringlet, so a hairnet definitely helps keep them tight. The following day. So you survived a night of foam rollers squished against your head like the crowd aboard the final hour of the Titanic. Sorry, it was like 1 a.m. when I wrote this. Time to release the Kraken! Nautical jokes. Once you've finally unleashed all your hair noodles, bloop, 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 it's time for the brush out. 
So I always run my hands through my hair just to kind of break up that product and also because I'm a baby when it comes to getting my hair brushed. I blame my mother who used to use this giant 90s torture combing device specifically made to make six-year-olds cry <laughs> whilst shaking a small fist at their lying no good son of a bitch L'Oreal shampoo bottle. <laughs> hmm. Once that is all done, I simply just brush it out. Uh, there's nothing fancy here, just brushing. The majority of the work was done when we did the rolling phase, so now the hair just kind of wants to form those waves. If you wanted those sleek, structured, very vintage waves, there's a little bit more skill required than what I'm doing here, but that is not this video. I always prefer the big, floofy hair. The more I look like a cocker spaniel, the better. Same thing with the bangs, I just brush them out um, and you're done. <laughs> uh, I just kind of futz around with it until it rolls the way I want it to. Hair tour. Now you're ready to go complete your very important social events of the day. I know I just want to live in a place where I can walk around in loungewear and sports bras and not have to constantly hide from my uh, neighbors. Time for a brief bangs disaster. Hairdressers, ye be warned. Shield your eyes. You know, 2021 got me feeling like I needed a change. I kind of wanted 2021 to be my year of being sexy and cool sexy and cool so i thought you know side bangs and also it's one of the only things that i can currently control in my life i'm gonna go ahead and censor this uh, in hopes of not getting as yelled at as i probably already am something about cutting your own hair on your own damn head really brings out the condescension in people <laughs> oh, oh you sweet precious cheddar bean if you've never immediately regretted cutting your bangs kept futzing around with them and fluffing them to make them work only to realize it wasn't going to work and that you actually have the face of a 12 year old town crier from the 1800s did you actually even cut them after coming to accept that i looked like 2001 hermione I have been using these babies. They are called Cozy Curlers. This is not sponsored. I bought these because I wanted my hair as it's getting longer to have more loose vintage waves. Think Helene Stanley in the reference film for Sleepy, Sleepy Beauty. <laughs> Combine Sleepy Hollow and Sleeping Beauty. Sleepy Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Despite them looking quite phallic, in nature. I'm really liking them so far. Like a foam roller, you roll your hair up, and you use this handy dandy net to kind of come back around, secure it like so. Good god, I feel like a middle school health teacher. <laughs> Because these are so much longer than my normal foam rollers, I am able to fit way more hair on each roller. It's still a bit tricky for me to get the netting done gracefully, but I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. And I only end up using about six as opposed to 12 to 15 smaller rollers, which is pretty sweet. Again, the hairnet comes in clutch here because these are kind of wonky on my head. It helps me feel like they're nice and secure and they're not gonna fall out overnight. Also way comfier to sleep in. They don't have any plastic bits that are gonna, you know, hello, stick into your head while you're sleeping. The next melt. You get it. Before we take these sausages out, I'm gonna curl my bangs. This time I'm using a curling iron and clips. Again, parting into four sections, I curl each one, roll it back up to my head, and pin. Letting it cool this way helps the curls actually take. Now that those are curling, I can do my makeup. Okay, let's take these babies out. Just like before, running my hands through and then brush. And then it was 
this time to pray to the Bangs gods that I didn't completely f*** it up. <laughs> Sometimes I will take the front two sections and just pin them back like this. Despite a bangs disaster, I'm cutting them way too short. It's fine. It's fine. We're going for 1995 Lizzie Bennett, if anyone asks. That is my hair routine. Ugh. 2021, am I right? Hope you guys had a good New Year's and stuff. Next week, I'm going to be making a New Year's gown for no apparent or specific reason. Two to three weeks after New Year's. Figured I could talk about my 2021 goals and such although we're basically on survivalist mode at this point so what are goals it's good to be back good couple of weeks being a literal potato and now i can be a potato with a mic that is it i love you whether you're new or old to this channel if you're new here and you feel like sticking around i feel free to subscribe i upload every friday and we have fun here and i will see you in my next video bye A couple things that are important. <laughs> Frodo's hair routine. Frodo's hair routine. Frodo's hair routine. <laughs> what? I always run my hair. What? So, I'll come get that. That was gonna be.